Okay, this is a level four. We have 8,421 milligrams per millimeters cubed, so this would be a density, and we wanna take that over to pounds per feet cubed. So I'm gonna start with what I know. I have 8,421 8, milligrams per millimeters cubed, and there's one millimeter cubed in this ratio. Okay, I'm gonna start with the top, so I'm gonna go milligrams, and I can get to grams, and then I'm gonna go again, grams, comes to pounds, okay? Cross off, cross off, cross off, and we are gonna be left with pounds on top, which is what we want. Now we're gonna work from bottom up. So I'm gonna do this all in one um, shot. If you need to do it, you'd have millimeters, millimeters, millimeters. There'd be three if you need to do the long drawn out method. Um, for millimeters cubed, I can go to centimeters cubed, and then I'm gonna go again, that's a three, doesn't look like it. And I'm gonna bring centimeters cubed up to inches cubed and then I'm going to go one more time and go inches cubed to feet cubed and this is why I'm not doing the long drawn out method because you'd have millimeters per centimeter millimeter per centimeter millimeter per centimeter and then centimeter per inch centimeter per inch centimeter per inch and inch per foot inch per foot inch per foot that would take forever so we're going to do the condensed version all right, so grams to milligrams, you know that for every one gram, there are a thousand milligrams, okay? Pounds to grams, 454 grams for every one pound. All right, so this is what's a little tricky, so I'm going to write it up here. All right, so from millimeter to centimeter, we know that in one centimeter, there's 10 millimeters, okay? But this is happening three times, so 10 times 10 times 10, so there's a thousand millimeters cubed in one centimeter. Like I said, you could individually write this out if you wanted, but condensing it shows that higher level of understanding. So it's just 10 times 10 times 10. All right, so centimeters to inches, we know that there's one inch and 2.54 centimeters. So you, once again, you take your 2.54 times 2.54 times 2.54, and you're gonna get about 16.39 centimeters cubed for every one inch cubed. And then inch to feet cubed, we know that for one foot there's 12 inches. So to get it cubed, you're going to take 12 times 12 times 12, and you get 1,728. All right, so let's take care of these bottom labels here so we know where we're going. Millimeters cubed goes away, centimeters cubed goes away, inches cubed goes away. Notice we're left with pounds per feet cubed, which is what we want. So we multiply everything on top, 8,421 times 1,000, times 16.39, and times 1728 equals. Dividing on the bottom, we have 1,000 times 454, and we end up with 525327.95-ish, okay? Pounds per feet cubed. All right, so here's our big answer. Um, it, we could round this if we wanted, or if you want to put it in scientific notation, that's something I can show you when um, I get back to how, how you could move this over so you're not dealing with such a big number. Okay. Once again, that's a level four.